Behind the doors of a simple office building at NASA's Dennis Space Center, scientists are developing technologies that are already streamlining satellite operations and will also be used for future manned missions to the moon and Mars. WXXV News 25's Grant Chigazola takes us inside the lab in this WXXV exclusive. We're here at NASA's Stennis Space Center in Hancock County, behind me the Autonomous Systems Laboratory, and I'm joined by Travis Martin now. He's one of the ground systems leads for the Astra Project, and Travis, uh, thank you for taking the time. I know a lot of our viewers want to know exactly what is the Astra Project. Well, the Astra Project is one of our first flight missions here at Stennis Space Center that is spun off from headquarters that is a technology accelerator to help develop or further the technology we're going to need to get from moon to Mars and beyond. And this is some next generation technology I know. I know the team works, you know, in this door behind us, but there's also another cool room that is a part of this facility where you, uh, you know, kind of take a look and extrapolate a lot of the data. So why don't we go into this room and I'll let you explain what we're looking at. Too. Sure. So now we're walking into what we call the Payload Operations Center for the Astro Project. So the Astro Project is a joint effort between Citus Space, a commercial company out of um, Cocoa Beach, Florida. Uh, we partner with them. They own the spacecraft, they own the launch services, but we are a payload rider. So they were nice enough to allow us to put our NASA computer and our autonomous uh, flight software on their spacecraft to, in order to accelerate or further the robustness of the same software suite that we've actually used here at the Space Center in various ways. So we're just here to help further that technology that is going to be needed in a similar fashion. When you think of the idea of going from moon to Mars, um, when we are doing space shuttle and things of like that on space station, their lag time is only a matter of seconds in communication. But once we get closer and closer to going to Mars, that lag time in communication grows to almost a half an hour each way. So you're gonna need some software or some capability to actually allow the astronauts that are on board to not have to you know, turn the knob here and keep making sure these systems are, are improving. It's taken away from the time of doing the actual science of the mission. And so what you're saying basically is the stuff that we're seeing on this screen right now, you can monitor it in, in real time, um, and, and that helps, you know, when it comes to the future of space travel and space flight in a way. What's being done here today will have lots of impact for space travel moving forward into the future. That is correct. Um, we're laying the foundation for the, what would be more complex work, but this, the software itself is fully capable of handling complex um, problems and, and putting solutions there for the astronauts or making recommendations because it's not gonna be total control. We're always gonna have human in the loop, but it's just to take some of the workload off that's necessary to keep this very, hopefully, large and complex um, spacecraft going back in two and keep our astronauts safe. And I know this partnership with Cytus Space has been extended for two years or even possibly more down the line in the future as well. So, uh, you know, keeping that partnership going, how important is that nowadays? Oh, that is very important. Um, as we've seen here elsewhere on the Space Center, uh, making these par partnerships with commercial entities is essential for the future of any uh, exploration in space, whether it be uh, low Earth orbit, just to lunar uh, surface operations, to even to Mars or beyond. Yeah, the future of space travel happening here at Stennis Space Center. Travis, thanks for taking some time out of your day to talk with us about this really fascinating technology. Oh, thank you. Reporting from Stennis Space Center, Grant Chigazola, WXXV News 25.